Hey guys, I want to talk to you about placing your pinky. I'm talking about the left hand. This this guy here. This is really really a tough finger to work with. Um, likes to misbehave. It likes to stiffen and lock. It likes to be out of tune. It likes to be flat, um, not reaching high enough for the note. And there's a concept. It's a tonalization concept, um, but it's called the resonance point. I've been talking a lot about resonance points with my students recently. And this is really fantastic for fourth finger because what, you, what you're doing is you're listening for the next string up. So if I'm playing fourth finger on A, I'm listening for the open E string. And if you see, I'm actually tunneling. In other words, I'm reaching around the E string and not really touching it. I'm only touching the A string. So if you can get this tunnel effect, the E string like a highway, see it going through the tunnel? You get that tunneling effect with your pinky. You can really tune that note exactly. This one's the hardest one over on the G string. And this exercise is at the beginning of book two. Don't forget about this. Although anyone in any book can practice this. It's always relevant. And um, there are some pieces where this really shows up nicely uh, in the musette, for example. What a nice place to practice that. That's really great. Uh, other spots in chorus and uh, all the way through um, uh, lots of uh, the second half of book one and book two. And then when you get to book four, uh, of course, the beginning of the Sites 5 1 has these nice half note, accented half notes, where we're tugging the bow and sounding like a trumpet call. And the second one is a nice fourth finger tonalization. And you really can pack a punch because if you do your tunneling correctly, you can hear that E string. So it's like you're getting two notes in one. Uh, so this um, tonalization resonance point exercise with your pinky will not only sharpen your intonation, um, but it will give you a chance to really sound like a trumpet uh, when you need to, when there's, when there's an accented note or a, a spot where you really need to stand out uh, with an E. Uh, so you'll be a lot happier with how you place uh, your ability to place that pinky um, and it will strengthen it as well if you can work on pinky resonance points.